Welcome to my channel. My name is Dexy, and today we're going to be making some turmeric face masks. So if you have hyperpigmentation or discoloration, keep on watching. So I'm using one tablespoon of ground turmeric, which is the main ingredient. This helps to brighten your skin if you have dull skin. It reduces the appearance of hyperpigmentation and scars. Now I'm going in with 2 tablespoons of aloe vera juice and this is a great source of vitamin C. It helps to smoothen your face and you know how you get those bumps on your face sometimes that gets red and painful. The anti-inflammatory properties in aloe vera juice can actually help to reduce that redness and soreness. Now I'm going in with 1 tablespoon of honey and honey helps to prevent breakouts and it helps to moisturize your face without leaving it oily. And some people use lemon juice in their face mask but since I have sensitive skin it makes my skin irritated so I'm just going to leave it out. But if you don't have sensitive skin you could go ahead and squeeze some lemon juice in it. Now I'm using a few drops of vitamin E oil and although vitamin E oil helps to brighten your skin and clear up dark marks, this mask is made to use once a week. So if you want to use this mask more than once per week, don't use the vitamin E oil because it can throw off the balance of the natural oils in your face. And just mix everything in and that's it. Now I'm going to be applying the mask and since turmeric stains, you want to be careful with the mats or, or curtains you might have around. So just be aware of that. So I'm using a cotton round to apply the mask and if you don't want your fingers to get stained, you could just use a glove. If you have a makeup brush that you don't use, you could use that too. I usually apply this mask inside of the bath since it stains but for the purpose of the video I'm doing it outside of the bath and then do my full skincare routine after I'm done which will be in the next video. I usually apply the mask to my neck because my neck is darker than my face and after that I'm gonna let it sit for about 20 to 25 minutes and wash it off and do my full skincare routine and that will be it. Now I'm going to rinse it off and like I said you want to do this in the shower because this is really messy and you don't want to get it all over your stuff and all over your mats and curtains so you got to be careful with that. And that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.